Hello, my lovely mathematicians. Uh, here's Mrs. Pennell here trying to show you how to solve word problems. Now, if you are a Kestrel, you are very well aware of this working board that we have got in our class, and the rest of the classes will also have something similar there. So, here is my how to solve a word problem video. So, first of all, we need to have a little think. What is the word uh, problem telling us to do? And then we can solve it. So let's go through it. So we use something called the cubes in our classroom where we will circle key numbers, we underline the problem, we will box any maths action words, we evaluate what we need to do, and finally we will solve and check. So here is some of the samples from this week's um, word problems when we're looking at money. So here is our red problem, and it says, what is 40p take away 10p? Now, how do I tackle this word problem? So first of all, I am going to circle the key numbers, and I'm going to use the red colour just because it is a red question. So here, what is 40p take away 10p? So in this word problem, 40p is the key number, and 10p is the key number. I will then underline the problem. So we need to find out what is them numbers taken away. Okay. I will then box any mass action words. Now action words are words such as take away, minus, add in, multiply, um, put together, all together, words like these that will then tell us what we need to do in our problem. So I'm going to use a blue colour here to box the action word for this problem. So here it would be taken away. I'm going to put that inside my box. I will then evaluate what should I do. So take away tells me straight away that the numbers will go smaller because I'm using my subtraction knowledge. So now I'm going to solve and check. So I'm going to write out my number sentence, which is 40p. I don't forget the penny there. I will do my takeaway symbol, 10p. And I'm going to find the answer. So I know straight away. So if I've got my four fingers up, I've got... Um, 10, 20, 30, 40, and I'm going to take away the 10. I will take that away. I have got 10, 20, 30 left. That means that my answer is 30p. Okay, and I've solved this red problem. I will now move on to the orange problem. So in this orange problem, we need to find out what is the key numbers and what is the problem. So I'm going to use my orange color here to circle the key numbers. So I had 70p in my purse and I gave 20p to my sister. How much do I have now? So the key numbers are straight away um, 70p and I have got 20p. And I will underline the problem. The problem is how much do I have now? So I'm underlining this. I will box any mass action words. So it, in here, it says, I gave something away. Okay. And I'm finding out how many of So gave, that means that something has gone smaller again. That means this is also a subtraction problem. So I have now evaluated that I know I'm using my subtraction knowledge. That means that my number sentence is going to be 70p. Taken away because something goes smaller and or gave away or minus is a subtraction problem. So 20p. And I'm going to find out my answer. So I can put, if I know it straight away, I can do that mentally or I can put on up my seven fingers. That's my 70. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70. And I'm going to take away my 20p. I now have 50p left, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Easy peasy, I'm going to write out my answer and I won't forget my symbols there. There we go, solved problem. Next one is a green problem and let's have a look in here. How do I solve this one? So straight away I know I need to circle my key numbers. I will read the problem. 
I had £20 to spend. I bought the pencil case for £12. How much change did I get? So straight away I can see that £20 is my key number as is £12. Okay. And the question is, um, so I'm underlining the problem. How much change did I get? So this is my problem. I need to find out how much change. That means something has been taken away. So that means I'm also using my subtraction knowledge here. So let's write it out. So box any mass action words. So we're looking at the word change. And let's write it out. So 20p, or it's 20 pounds, sorry. It is like that. 20 pound, take away 12 pound. It's hard to do it with this computer. But let's solve it together. So I have got... Um, 20 here using my fingers. So I've got 10 and 20 and we are going to take away 12. That means I'm going to take away 10. That would be 10. And I'm going to take away another 2. I'm counting down from 10. So it would be 10, 9, 8. That means that I have got 8 pounds left. So I'm going to write it down. I've got my pound symbol and number 8. Eight. Easy squeezy. All done yet again. And finally, let's have a look at the purple um, word problem. Now, these ones are normally tricky, so you have to be very careful when you when you read it. So let's have a look together. I'm going to choose my purple color here. So circle the key numbers. First of all, underline the problem, box any action words, evaluate and solve. So let's read. Me, mum and dad have seven pounds each, but we have lost six pounds. How much money do we have left? So first of all, straight away, I can see that my key numbers are 7 and 6. However, if I'm reading this, the problem is how much do we have left? And because we have each got £7, so we've got each, how much do we have left? So first of all, we need to box the action words. I'm going to choose a different colour here. So I'm going to box this one because it's telling us that we each had seven pounds. And then how much do we have left? Which means that it is a taking away um, word problem yet again. So each, that means me, mum and dad have seven pounds each. Now this one is a two-step word problem. So this one is the first action we need to do. So me, mum and dad, so that means there's three people have seven pounds each. So three people, I'm going to use my multiplication knowledge here, have seven pounds each. That means that three lots of seven is 21. So all together we got 21 pounds. Okay, so how did I do that? So three lots of seven, we got seven, we got seven, and we got seven. So seven add seven is 14, add another seven is 21. So that's what I've done. This is my first working out. Now all together we got 21 pounds, but we have lost six pounds. So here, this is also showing us that this is a subtraction knowledge um, word problem. So 21 pounds which we had all together, me, mum and dad, taking away the six pounds that we lost and how much money is that? So now you could do it in different ways. So what you could do is count down. So I'm going to show you the easiest one. And if you come up with a, a better version for yourself, go for it. You use that knowledge. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to count down six steps. So if you're looking, if you're thinking of it as a number line, be counting down six ones jumps so 21 21 9 20 19 18 17 16 and 15 that means that the answer is we have got 15 pounds left there we go and that was our two-step word problem so have a look, keep this in mind, circle key numbers, underline the problem, box any mass action words, evaluate, and then finally solve and check. 
it's a key thing to check as well because not always you get the right answer straight away so once you've checked it then you can submit your work for us now have a lovely time um recording your answers and chewing through these lovely word problems okay have a lovely day bye friends